Welcome to the Microbiology Laboratory Safety Training. By the end of this video, you will know how to ensure your safety in the laboratory and how to avoid contaminating yourself, others, and the outside world. On the first day of lab, you can ask any questions you have of the instructor or for any clarifications should you need them. You will also sign the safety sheet to certify that you have read and understood the safety regulations. A copy of the Microbiology Laboratory Safety Regulations is available for you to access online on Canvas. All students must purchase and wear eye protection when in the laboratory. Acceptable forms of eye protection cover both the front and the side of the eyes. Their purpose is to protect the eyes from bacterial aerosols, chemical splashes, mechanical injury, and burns. All students must purchase and wear a knee-length lab coat when in the laboratory. The coat must be disposable. If you choose to purchase a non-disposable lab coat, please note that at the end of the semester it will be collected from you by the lab staff to be disposed of properly. The coat must fit properly and be kept fastened at all times to protect the body from bacterial aerosols, chemical splashes, mechanical injury and burns. Therefore, paper coats or plastic aprons are not acceptable. Street clothes worn with lab coats must meet the following conditions. Leg covering, pants or skirt must extend below the hem of the lab coat to help protect the legs. Short pants or skirts are not allowed. Bare shoulders, arms or midriffs are strongly discouraged. Your clothes provide an additional layer of protection against bacterial aerosols, chemical splashes, mechanical injury, and burns. Personal protective equipment, eye protection, and lab coat must not be removed from the laboratory for any reason. Lab coats will be collected from you during your last lab meeting and will be disposed of safely by laboratory staff. This practice prevents the spread of bacterial contamination outside of the laboratory. Closed-toed shoes which completely cover the foot must be worn when in the laboratory to protect the feet from bacterial aerosols, chemical splashes, mechanical injury, and burns. Long hair must be tied back when in the laboratory to avoid burns and bacterial and chemical contamination of the hair. Eating, drinking, chewing gum, and throat lozenges are prohibited at all times. Drink containers must not be brought into the lab. The purpose is to avoid bacterial infection or accidental ingestion of chemicals and to prevent the spread of bacterial contamination outside of the laboratory. Persons who are at increased risk of acquiring infection or for whom infection may be unusually hazardous should consider consulting with their physician about the risks of working with biosafety level 1 and 2 bacterial cultures in the laboratory. Furthermore, if you are pregnant or become pregnant, you will notify your instructor at the earliest opportunity. Do not open microbiological plates that appear to have fungal contamination. Ask your instructor if you are unsure. This practice prevents the release of concentrated fungal spores, which could be highly infectious. No materials may be removed from the laboratory. This includes culturing materials, bacterial cultures, used microscope slides, chemicals, etc. The purpose is to prevent the accidental spread of bacterial contamination outside of the laboratory, to prevent chemical accidents and injuries, and to prevent the intentional misuse of such materials. Federal, state, and local laws regulate the acquisition, possession, transportation, use, and disposal of microbiological materials and chemicals. Criminal penalties apply to violations of this regulation. Access to the material safety data sheets is freely available to students upon request. They provide information on the health hazards, precautionary measures, and emergency procedures associated with the use of chemicals in the laboratory. Students have the right and the responsibility of knowing the proper handling of the chemicals that they will be exposed to and using. All students must be aware of the location of safety and first aid equipment in the laboratory and surrounding areas. An accident or incident report must be filed immediately following any injury or potential infectious exposure to bacterial cultures. 
all students must follow standard hand washing protocol. Wash hands with hot water and soap each time when entering and each time when leaving the laboratory. Also, wash hands anytime you suspect you may have had accidental contact with cultures or contaminated objects or surfaces in the laboratory. The purpose is to minimize the risk of infection and to prevent the spread of bacterial contamination outside of the laboratory. Routine use of latex or nitrile gloves is not necessary when the skin of the hands is healthy and unbroken, but persons who have temporary cuts or scrapes should wear disposable gloves which will be provided by the instructor. Hand jewelry, artificial fingernails, and natural fingernails which extend beyond the fingertip are strongly discouraged because they decrease the effectiveness of hand washing and impair manual dexterity when wearing gloves. Students must disinfect the laboratory bench tops each time when entering and each time when leaving the laboratory by dampening the surface lightly with a provided citrus dew cleaner. Follow this step by spreading the solution around with a paper towel. This practice minimizes the risk of contamination and infection. Do not leave Bunsen burners unattended. Avoid use of chemicals such as gram stain decolorizer near open flame. The purpose is to avoid burn injury, fire and explosion. Dispose of all microbiological and chemical wastes in the designated receptacles as explained by the instructor. The purpose is to facilitate safe waste disposal. Follow the procedures specified by the instructor for cleanup of broken glass and for microbiological spills. Backpacks, purses, and other personal items must be stored away from food traffic in the lab. The purpose is to avoid impeding access to safety and first aid equipment. Only essential items, lab notebook and pen, should be on the bench top. This practice aims to avoid the spread of bacterial contamination outside of the laboratory and to minimize the risk of fire. Chairs must not be placed in front of the safety shower and eye wash while working in the lab. This is necessary to provide clear access to the shower and our eye wash in the case of an emergency. You've reached the end of the laboratory safety training video. Be sure to ask your instructor for clarification or if you have any questions.